You bet. We turn to California now, where Governor Gavin Newsom blaming Florida Governor Ron DeSantis after another plane carrying migrants landed in Sacramento on Monday. News Nation's Nancy Liu joining us live from Santa Monica, California, with the very latest on this. Nancy? Hey there, Natasha. The latest round in this ongoing feud has California Governor Gavin Newsom threatening kidnapping charges against the Florida governor. Just a few hours ago, Ron DeSantis signed new legislation in Florida, but he took no questions after the event. So the GOP presidential candidate has yet to publicly respond to accusations that he is behind the two recent migrant flights to Sacramento, the drop-offs of 36 people over the past five days. 16 Venezuelans and Colombians showed up on Friday at the doorstep of the Catholic Diocese of Sacramento, and then another 20 migrants landed in California's capital yesterday. The Newsom administration claims the migrants were carrying documents indicating their transportation involved Vertol systems. That's the same Florida contractor which handled a flight of migrants to Martha's Vineyard last year. In a tweet, Newsom is calling DeSantis a small, pathetic man, adding, this isn't Martha's Vineyard kidnapping charges. Newsom included the portion of California code stating that anyone from out of state who abducts or forces others into the state is guilty of kidnapping. California's attorney general is looking into the circumstances and weighing potential charges. And we here in the California Department of Justice will uh, do everything in our power to uh, complete a full, thorough, comprehensive investigation, gather all the relevant facts and determine whether any criminal or civil violations have occurred and take appropriate steps uh, once we've completed that investigation. So far, no response from the DeSantis office or campaign on the migrant flights to California. There's also no dis, uh, DeSantis response to the direct allegations from Newsom for the name calling. Natasha? Okay, Nancy Liu with that live update. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.